What is going on everybody? It is Bush Fishing and we are back with a special video today. In this video we're going to be painting the whole boat and we're going to be doing it with gel coat. So this actually just got dropped off. We got it set up in here. There's a hydrodyne hall. This boat is going to be used by a ski team. They bought it. They're kind of restoring it. I'm going to be painting the whole thing and then eventually we're going to be rigging a 250 E-Tech in the back. For now in this video we're going to be painting the boat. This is a special haul because these hydrodynes you can put a lot of weight on the back and they will still float and this thing is going to be a rocket. For today I needed to get the boat in here. I'll give you a walk through in a second but this thing's already been sanded. They did a bit of body work on it. They used a fiberglass reinforced filler which meh but they did some fiberglass as well. I usually use the 3M marine body filler. The, I think that's the name of it. 3M marine but they're trusting me with painting it. We're going to be spraying the whole thing with. We're going to be using total boat white gel. So I'll put up some pictures and maybe a video but I did a little test strip on my 200 or 7 route. I just sprayed the top of the cowling while I was working and uh, turned out pretty nice. So this whole boat is going to look like that. Let's give you the walkthrough. So on the console, the windshield's off and all that good stuff. There's a little bit of work done there. It's going to end up having a new dash and all that. But it, uh, it did have a newer oven route on it that came off of it. Up in the bow, not a lot done. Just kind of filled some holes. This up here, once it's all buffed out, is going to be reflective. A little more work down here on the bottom and down the side. And then coming to the back here is where they did most of the work. Uh, there were three big holes in the back that got filled with fiberglass and then got fared out. And then a lot of work on the transom which this, once it's done, is gonna be gorgeous. But this boat's actually kind of special because it's gonna be the sponsored boat from ST Marine. You're gonna have ST Marine stickers down the side and on the back and the website and everything. So it's a pretty big deal for me. Kind of gets the name out there, but when you see this thing pulling skiers for a show and, and a nice sticker on the side, it'll be cool. So thank you to my friend for trusting me with this. But yeah, for now. All right, everybody, we are back. It is the next day. The boat's dried out. You can see that it's actually sanded now and I'm ready to get moving. So I got cut off yesterday. I don't even remember what I was saying, but I've got all my materials down here. I'm gonna be working off the floor. It's gonna be kind of messy. Uh, right now I am baking the shop while I tarp it off because I'm shutting the heat off uh, while I spray because these these fumes are very flammable and the last thing I need is to explode today. But in case anybody's curious, my plan is going to be, I use the 3M PPS system, we'll get into that in a little bit, but I'm going to be doing 500cc batches in the beginning because I have nine of those cups. So I'll do 500cc and then everything after that will be the smaller ones, 300cc. They're going to be 350cc gel coat, 150cc patch aid, and then they're going to be catalyzed with 12.5cc of our MEKP catalyst. It's going to be a lot of time lapses in this video. This video is only going to be painting it so hopefully this boat behind me is completely white after and it's going to be really pretty kind of ran through everything making sure there's no massive holes or anything that was missed it all looks pretty good but tarping off is going to take a little bit i got to take off this whole stainless ring on the inside i was told that i could paint up to it but i'm going to take off the whole thing and spray all the way down it just it's one less line that needs to be sanded out. But yeah, I think I'm gonna hop up in there, get rid of that, get the tarp in there, get everything taped off real nicely and should be a fun day. It's gonna take a little bit, but really good opportunity for me and let you guys see how you spray a boat. I'll get into the specifics before I actually start spraying when I mix up a batch, but for now I'm just gonna get this thing tarped off and get us on our way. Alrighty, let's fucking do it.
there, buddy. Oh, man. I can barely breathe in here. I got the doors open now, but that's gonna finish it up for our first day in the shop here, spring. I'll give you a look at this. So you can see I started in that uh, starboard aft corner and worked my way up. It's probably not focused. Started in the starboard aft, worked my way up the side of the hull, kind of doing up to the rub rail too. I think what I found is that just going section by section makes it easier. Uh, originally I started with a 500cc batch. That was way too much. I couldn't spray it and that was catalyzing at 3%. So I couldn't even spray it out before it was hardening. But then coming up to the bow, I switched over to 300cc batches with six, mm, six cc hardener and you can see this boat was by no means perfect there's a lot of chips and stuff in it but for the most part came out pretty good now obviously this has all the orange peel and stuff that you would expect uh, once this gets sanded it will come out perfectly smooth minus some bigger holes and stuff but coming down the side of the hall you can see there's still some wet spots and stuff right now it's 64. i shut the heat off in here because i didn't want to explode so now it's going to get really cold and then I'm gonna turn the heat up to about 68 overnight. But you can kind of see the whole bow's done and then down the side of the boat over there, that's where I stopped. Pretty happy with how it's coming out so far. I've never done gel on an entire boat, changing the color of it. I do a lot of repairs, stuff like that, and even into some really big areas, but never a full boat. So this will be interesting. White's kind of forgiving, so that'll be nice, but yeah, it's just gonna take a lot of sanding. But the end product will be worth it, and that big old ST Marine sticker on the side and on the bow will be worth it. Yeah, so the plan is close this up, heat it up, let it sit overnight. Tomorrow, wipe it all down, and then finish up all that's left left is the port side over there below the rub rail and then the transom in the interior which I did a lot of this pretty quick the one thing is this hose sucks it's leaking air so it's really kicking my ass because the compressor can't keep up alone with how much air is coming out of it and then on top of that it's leaking air and the compressor is getting super hot and it's putting moisture in line so I think I'm gonna run and pick up an inline dryer tonight and then have a dryer in line to make it easier tomorrow but still by the end of the 300 cc batch it just can't keep up anymore but with all that being said I'm gonna leave you guys here and we'll pick back up tomorrow Alrighty, everybody. Holy shit. 
We're finally done. I got both doors open right now. I had to get all the air out of here and then I turned the heat back on. So the gel is gonna get colder because it's freshly sprayed, it's still wet. And then once it heats up, it'll bake and cure. But let's take a look at this boat. So not my most exciting video because it was mostly time lapses, but you can see starting in the back, coming all the way up, she ain't blue anymore. Now there's a lot of areas where there were nicks and dings in the side of the boat. I didn't do the body work and they were okay with it looking like this. They just wanted the color change. Most of this will be sanded perfectly. There's a couple areas that I'm not going to sand. If I did sand them, you'd see the color of the Bondo come through. So I'm not going to sand them, but the whole bottom, the keel was done and that was all ferret in. So I just sprayed that. That's not going to get sanded. Coming up here, it's wet in the middle because I resprayed over the seam where the color was just to make sure I had good enough thickness. See, coming down the side here. The back piece looks really nice. Let's see if they can get the reflection in there, but yeah, that's all wet. The dash is done. The dash, the whole thing is gonna get replaced. I just kind of sprayed it anyway. And then like, this is an example of some body work. Yeah, this here is an example of some body work that showed through, but most of this is gonna get redone. But that's about where we're at. I'm gonna do another video on this, doing all the sanding and buffing and all that good stuff, but that's going to be happening during the week right now. It is Sunday, I actually have to help clean up the boat show. So for now, I'm going to let this boat bake in here overnight, let everything go off. And then from there, I'm going to move it over to the other shop. And during the week, I'm pretty much just going to split it up by days. One day, I'll sand it with 320 and next 600, 800, 1000. I do not think I'm going to wet sand at 1200 and then uh, buff it out, get this thing reflective. And that's the hard part done. Then it's the fun part, rigging up the new motor in here and all that good stuff. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. ST Marine. New website's up, should be down in the description. It is stmarinewi.com. You want any work done in South Central Wisconsin, fill out the form and I'll be giving you a call. Uh, ST Marine merch, Bush Fishing merch, first link down, or second link now, down in the description. Got a bunch of new stuff coming there. Yeah, I think that's about it. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more videos. See ya.